Hello, this is a video response to Anders in Stockholm. He just um, uploaded a video where he shared um, 10 songs or pieces of music that move him. And um, it was a nice uh, redirect. And so this is a pure music video. You'll see. <laughs> I've stirred up enough um, already. But um, to start it, I want to uh, thank, I got some uh, VCLT unexpectedly today from Rick Hellinger, I believe it is. I received this today, Fourth Possible Worlds by John Hassel, Brian Eno. I definitely needed this on vinyl. Thank you very much, sir. Very kind of you. Very nice letter. Thank you. Yes. I have Tool and uh, Aphex Twin. I have the music I don't have um, Enema. I have uh, a Burn and Come to Daddy I have on video. Oh yeah, you better believe it. Thank you. But to talk strictly about music and about music that moves you and songs that move you, uh, this is a nice... Uh, redirect uh kind of a much needed redirect for my for my my thoughts and um can go in many directions and uh share many things and but i went with the ones that came to mind right away and i thought anders your video very very touching actually i could hear the emotion in your voice at several times you know it is I do completely relate as a music nerd about it's sometimes mystifying how and why a song or a piece of music will touch you in the way that it does. And that may be the case for some of what I share, but this, I'm going to share some music that has touched me consistently and uh, brought tears to my eyes many times. And the first one that comes to mind is the, the cinema show by Genesis off of Selling England by the Pound. This is truly one of my all-time favorite uh, albums of any, of any genre. And um, <clears throat> I can still distinctly remember probably the first time it brought tears to my eyes. I was still, maybe, I have to look at, was this 1973? Because I think I was, you know, I was still a teen. I was in my teens and I was down in Texas working for a summer and just a mess and it just hit me like a ton of bricks and I just wept 1973 yeah and it's done that on many occasions you know um I never got to see Genesis with Peter Gabriel but I saw them with Bill Bruford and several times afterwards and so when they played this um the first time I saw them on the uh Trick of the Tail tour I believe that was that tour the one after it it was very moving, very moving. So this is definitely one. The song Quasar by Herbie Hancock. And I'm going to put this on because this is not what you would think of as an emotionally moving piece of music. But I've had several emotional and even cosmic experiences listening to this. Water torture, not quasar. Excuse me. And this is an OG baby. I'm going to put this on. Cosmic experiences with this. This is just a very important piece of music for me. Now this has not brought me to tears, but this has moved me and it has at different times really sparked some deep visions like even you know one time I was with a friend we shared the trip I've told the story actually in an old video so this definitely counts as a piece of music that moves me deeply
It's like I still relate to how this music when I first heard it as a kid, really I was a kid. It was like we're going forward. And it was like, yeah. Just open that mind. So that's one. Um, I have to, you, I have to, there's a couple of artists get two entries because you ask the music that moves you and I could easily move to playing some of this from, I believe he's from Brazil and South America, I know for sure, Dori, Dori Kaimi, he has a couple of tracks that just, oh my goodness, from this one, if ever, um, I'm thinking the track is the, the pilgrimage, but listen to this. Yeah, see, that's bad. Still, it's just like... Mm. <sighs> Thanks, Anders, for this. I've been doing fine, but I have been uh, a little preoccupied. And then Bra Brazilian Serenata. What is the track up of here? I believe it's Flower of Bahia, or Historia Antiga. There's a couple on here that just... Oh, man. But there's a cup. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna, very, I gotta, I'm gonna switch up. Great topic. Okay, another artist that might surprise that it, I find them the, some of the songs so moving but I do the song by Bar Dave Stewart and Barbara Gaskin they have a couple the world spins so slow is one um, I just love it anyway it's just a beautiful moody song but I it has caught me a few times uh, where it's just like whoa I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the background something about it's also on this CD and they have another song that takes me to tears you know uh, Starblind off of this off of Spin Dave Stewart and Barbara Gaskin this gets to me can't explain it but it does even I feel it even now <clears throat> Let me keep going. A few more things. I don't know if I picked ten, but I picked several. Another one that has just um, Wallflower by Peter Gabriel. Uh, I've seen Peter Gabriel again several times. Wallflower. I just relate to that song on so many different levels and it means literally what he meant it to mean to me but it also because of my experience working in um, mental health and psych hospitals and psych wards those words fit some of the atrocities that I've seen and had to be part of working in the mental health system even the last time I saw him on the blood tour with the orchestra, when he did this, I just stood in the aisle and just, ah! <laughs> it was just amazing. 
Yeah, Wallflower by Peter Gabriel just gets to me. Another whole album, when this album came out, Dead Can Dance, Within the Realm of a Dying Sun, I, it just captivated me, I don't know for how long, it seemed like it was a month. It may have been that long, maybe it was just a week, but it was like all I could listen to or I kept returning to this. And it, deep, deep feeling and it just, you know, beyond words, how it captures feelings and I can't put into words. It's still to this day very, very special. Dead can dance within the realm of a dying sun. The last thing I'll share off of Zawano, Joe Zawano's album, Dr. Honoris Causa. This takes me all the way back to high school. I can remember distinctly. I went to an prep, all boys prep school here in, uh, in Nebraska for three years. Um, and part of the, I got a scholarship because I was a good student. It's got a lot to do with my, my weird trip, if you think it's weird. But anyway, I got a scholarship to go to the school because it was private, Catholic, and you know, we, was poor, couldn't afford it. And so the other way to pay off the rest of the uh, uh, tuition uh, was, I worked after school, you know, as a janitor, which was very belittling, let me tell you. But anyway, I said straight music. But it was at that time that this came out and a friend of mine could afford a copy. I couldn't even afford a copy and he let me borrow it. And at the end of my shift, I can remember several times while waiting for, I'd have to wait to a certain amount of time um, as the sun would be going down. I remember a couple times in the winter uh, watching the sun go down or just get dark while this is playing on a school record player, Dr. Honoris Causa, and just being completely taken to another world. And it's just every time, even now when I hear it, it takes me on a journey. It's just a very special piece of music. I want to thank you very much, Anders, for the wonderful topic. Um, good to see you. Happy New Year. And um, good luck with the, the, uh, the baby that's coming, I think. Right? 